Not all students have been able to attend classes at school, and that's created a problem for some who may not have access to the technology they need. The most recent numbers from the spring showed around 25,000 Minnesota children don't have access to internet and or devices. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how some groups are acting quickly to help bridge the digital divide. This bustling North Minneapolis Y is full of students with goals. I want to be an NBA player. I want to be a lawyer. A police officer. I want to be an inventor. A singer, a hairstylist. I have a lot of things I want to be when I grow up. And as we know, school is a means to an end. But these days, that's complicated. Now with distance-based learning, we are actually um, seeing kids uh, fall behind more significantly because they may not have connectivity. They may not have a parent or guardian that can be at home and marshal some of those resources and ensure they're engaged. And that's a big problem in a state with a big achievement gap. This graph shows kids who are white graduated at a much higher rate than students of color. So the Y went all in with support from businesses like Excel, Securion, and U.S. Bank. They are funding these technology pods at 19 Twin Cities locations. The goal is to push these pods beyond the Twin Cities. The hope is to have them in every corner of the state. They are certainly being well received. My internet's like super slow at my house, so coming here is a better decision. And having the right tools in the present means they are ready for the future. I want to be an attorney and travel the world and help a lot of people. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. I believe I am. WCCO 4 News. The pods are available at WISE around the Twin Cities. We have locations and information on how you can support the program at WCCO.com links.